North Korea, a land shrouded in mystery, a nation that has captured the world's attention with its enigmatic presence. Beneath the surface of its carefully crafted facade lies a realm of secrets that have remained hidden for decades. Today, dear viewers, we embark on a journey to unravel the enigma, to peer into the darkness that cloaks the Hermit Kingdom. From its stunning landscapes that seem almost frozen in time, to its bustling streets where daily life plays out in a way that's both captivating and puzzling, North Korea is a puzzle begging to be solved. But behind these visuals lies a tapestry woven with secrets, secrets that have sparked curiosity, intrigue, and even apprehension on a global scale. Before we dive into the nitty-gritty, let me give you the introduction to this country. North Korea, officially known as the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Nestled in East Asia, this captivating nation shares its borders with China, Russia, and its estranged sibling, South Korea, separated by the notorious Korean demilitarized zone. On one side, the Yellow Sea caresses its western boundary, while on the other, the Sea of Japan paints the eastern horizon. And at the heart of it all, the vibrant city of Pyongyang stands proud as the capital and largest metropolis. But rewind the tape back to ancient times. Archaeological hints suggest early human presence on the Korean peninsula eons ago. The annals of North Korea's history kickstart with Gojoseon, a realm founded by the legendary Dangun way back in 2333 Bigs. Although no solid evidence from that time survives, it's a tale that's woven into the cultural fabric. Fast forward to more recent times, Korea split along the 38th parallel after World War II. The North, guided by Soviet influence, took its own path, while the South leaned towards the Western Bloc. The Korean War followed, leading to an armistice that persists to this day. This war-torn backdrop laid the foundation for North Korea's distinctive political landscape. Let's talk ideology. North Korea's vibrant juke philosophy. This homegrown concept champions self-reliance and autonomy, underpinning the state's unique identity. From economic ties to foreign relations, it's juke that shapes North Korea's stance. Now, here's a jaw-dropper. North Korea's Songun policy. It's a military-first approach that elevates the Korean People's Army to the forefront. With a staggering 7, 7, 6, 9 million personnel, roughly 30% of its population, it's no small feat. And yes, they've got nuclear muscle too. But it's not all pomp and pageantry. Human rights concerns echo worldwide. Various reports and organizations have raised alarms over the years, shining light on a reality that, at times, seems from another era. Number 1. Labor Camps North Korea operates approximately 16 labor camps, sprawling compounds surrounded by electrified barbed wire fences. These are not just any camps. They are prison cities, where around 200,000 prisoners are believed to be held captive at any given time. Now you might be wondering who these prisoners are and what led them to this life of torment. Well, the sad truth is that the occupants of these camps are often a mix of defectors, traitors, and even ex-politicians who dared to challenge the regime. In North Korea, running afoul of the government can be a fairly easy thing to do, and the consequences are beyond imaginable. The chilling parallels between these labor camps and the infamous Gulag camps of Soviet Russia are hard to ignore. Imagine a life where forced labor is the norm, where prisoners toil away in brutal conditions, all while being subjected to unimaginable hardships. The smallest transgressions, like stealing a few kernels of corn, can lead to swift and severe punishment, including execution. Escape from these camps is nearly impossible, but some brave souls have managed to break free from this living nightmare. Their stories are harrowing, shedding light on the unspeakable horrors they endured and the extraordinary strength it took to survive. These survivors bear witness to a reality that we can hardly fathom from the comfort of our own lives. Number 2. Three Generations of Punishment Imagine a world where a single misstep can cast a shadow over not just your own life, but the lives of your children and grandchildren. That's the grim reality for many in North Korea. 
where the three generations of punishment policy holds sway. This isn't just a policy, it's a generational curse that lingers like a haunting specter. So, what exactly is this policy? Well, it's like a grim inheritance of punishment. If your grandparent commits a crime, the entire family tree pays the price. Even after the original culprit has faced their fate, their descendants continue to suffer. Crimes, no matter how small, can cascade down through the generations. But what's the result of such a policy? Imagine entire lives spent within the barbed wire confines of prison camps. One of the most egregious offenses is attempting to leave North Korea, a dream that can lead to immediate execution or an agonizing sentence in one of the notorious labor camps. It's a stark reminder of the draconian control that the regime holds over its citizens. Criticizing the government, even in the slightest, is considered an act of treason. Even the simple act of learning about other cultures is a punishable offense. Can you believe that watching a Western movie can warrant a death sentence? It's as if the regime fears the power of ideas and connections beyond their borders. And here's where it gets truly chilling. Recent reports of smuggling between North Korea and China have revealed that some brave souls managed to get their hands on illegal dids of Western movies. The North Korean National Security Agency goes to extreme lengths, raiding villages, shutting off electricity, and storming homes to root out these cultural contaminants. As we sit in our comfortable homes, it's easy to take our freedoms for granted. But let's not forget the immense sacrifices made by those living under the shadow of three generations of punishment. Their stories remind us of the power of resilience and the lengths that some will go to seek freedom and knowledge. Number 3. Electricity. Armed guards diligently patrol the borders, keeping the lower classes from entering the city's luxurious bubble. And while the residents of Pyongyang do experience a form of luxury, it's all relative considering the circumstances. Imagine, even among the three million upper-class citizens, access to electricity is a luxury in itself. Yes, you heard that right. The lucky ones who belong to the privileged few are given electricity for just a mere hour or two a day. Can you fathom what life would be like if your access to electricity was restricted to such a small window? But here's the kicker. Sometimes, especially during bone-chilling winters, the power goes out completely. Imagine the freezing temperatures, plummeting below minus 17.8 deck, and you're left in the dark and cold. It's a struggle that's difficult to comprehend. Take a look at this satellite image. It speaks volumes. To the north, you've got China, a land ablaze with the glow of electric lights. To the south, South Korea shines even brighter. And in between, outlined in darkness, is North Korea. The visual contrast alone is enough to make your jaw drop. But let's not forget, outside of Pyongyang, the situation is even bleaker. The majority of homes don't even have a flicker of electricity to begin with. It's a stark reminder that even in this modern age, inequality can cast a shadow that's hard to escape. As the sun sets and darkness descends, millions are left navigating their lives in a world devoid of light. Number 4. Arms Dealing Now, we all know that North Korea is no stranger to controversy, from its mysterious leadership to its isolated way of life. But did you know that the United Nations has accused this nation of something even more sinister than insurance fraud? Hold on to your hats, folks, it's arms dealing. Allegations suggest that North Korea has been selling illegal weapons and even nuclear technology to the highest bidders. Let's rewind a bit to 2012, a pivotal year in uncovering North Korea's dark secrets. The UN managed to seize a North Korean shipment en route to Syria. What was inside? Oh, just nearly 450 graphite cylinders, tailor-made for ballistic missiles. Fast forward to 2009. Shipments destined for Iran and the Republic of Congo were intercepted. One held a whopping 35 tons of missile components, while the other was carrying Soviet era tanks. Quite the inventory, huh? Unsanctions have explicitly prohibited North Korea from trading or selling missile technology. You'd think that would be the end of it, right? Wrong. 
North Korea isn't one to back down easily. They boldly claimed that the sanctions themselves were illegal and that they could do whatever they pleased. This audacious defiance has allowed their arms trade to persist, much to the world's chagrin. Now, you might be wondering, why on earth would North Korea engage in such risky business? Well, folks, it's all about the Benjamins. This arms trade serves as a lucrative revenue stream for the government. But here's the twist. According to experts, a significant chunk of that money doesn't go into infrastructure or welfare. Nope, it ends up in the pockets of none other than Kim Jong-un himself. Quite the eye-opener, isn't it? Number 5. Physical Isolation North Korea, a nation known for its isolation from the outside world, operates under a regime that tightly controls its citizens' movements. It's not just about restricted travel, it's about physical isolation that goes beyond borders. You see, it's virtually illegal for North Koreans to leave their homeland without the government's explicit permission. Attempting to escape the clutches of this authoritarian regime can result in dire consequences. We're talking about torture, forced labor, and even life imprisonment in notorious political prison camps. Imagine a place where freedom is a luxury, where stepping beyond the boundaries of your own country could cost you your freedom, or worse. But that's not all. Even those who are granted the rare opportunity to travel abroad are not truly free. The North Koreans allowed to travel abroad, such as diplomats, elite students, recruited workers, and athletes, may seem like they've been granted a taste of the outside world. However, there's a catch, a sinister one. These travelers are meticulously monitored during their journeys, and when they return, they must attend special ideological debriefs. Picture a controlled session where their experiences are filtered through the lens of the regime's propaganda, reminding them of their loyalty to the state. It's a way for the North Korean government to ensure that these travelers don't bring back any dangerous foreign ideas or perspectives that could challenge their iron grip on power. And there you have it, my fellow curious minds, a journey deep into the enigmatic realm of North Korea unearthing the dark secrets that have shrouded this nation for decades. From the glimpses we've managed to piece together, it's clear that there's a lot more to this story than meets the eye. Thank you for joining me on this remarkable expedition into the dark secrets of North Korea. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep making the world a more informed place.